Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. I am currently 37 weeks pregnant. I'm actually 37 weeks and like three or four days. So I could literally go into labor at any time now. Um, so I figured I should get this video made before I pop. Um, I love filming these. I think that they are so helpful. I watch them as well. And now that I am about to be a fourth time mom, I think I really have it down to a science. Like I know what I need, I know what I don't need, and I am very much so someone who does not like to have to unpack like when I get home from the hospital. I mean, that's like the last thing I wanna do. So I really keep it to the bare minimum. I honestly, <laughs> don't think i have anything in these bags that i don't actually need so if you guys are interested in seeing what i am taking to the hospital for myself as well as baby boy then definitely keep on watching if you like today's video please make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you are new here and let's get in to my hospital bag video <laughs> So to start, this is going to be Baby Boy's hospital bag, and I did want to say that today's video is in collaboration with Luli BB. Uh, you guys know I love Luli BB. If you have been watching for any amount of time, I rave about their diaper bags. This is the Monaco Petite in the color Pearl. I think it's so beautiful. I did want to say before I get into this that they are offering 25% off site-wide using my link down below. So definitely check it out if you guys are looking for a diaper bag or a travel bag. They also have snack, snack bags. Um, so they really have a great variety of different bags. But for the hospital, I am taking the Monaco Petite bag. And then also for myself, I'm taking the travel bag, which is huge, but it's amazing like it works great so i will definitely have my link down below in the description box you guys can get 25 percent off if you guys want to shop like i said this is the monaco petite it is a diaper bag it's a backpack so it's got backpack straps it also comes with like a long crossbody strap so you can carry it that way and then it also has these four stroller clips which i don't have on there because i'm not going to be using a stroller in the hospital but i usually use the stroller clips when we're out and about. I love the stroller clips. It makes getting into the bag so easy. So as we open it, here is kind of what it's looking like. It's got this beautiful, like silky material. I love it so, it just like seems so, um, I don't know, fancy. Um, so like I said, I keep things very minimal. This bag is not jam packed full of stuff. It's honestly just what I need, what I know I'm gonna need. So first things first, I do have his name announcement plate. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys yet because I do wait until he is here and that is how we announce um, the names. But yeah, I have his name plate in here for when he's here. And then um, I also am bringing a swaddle. This is the Love to Dream swaddle. I use this with my daughter Navy and I really like this swaddle. We may or may not use this in the hospital. I know that they typically just use the swaddles that they have there, um, which is fine. Like I'm fine using that, but um, I'm bringing this just in case because I really liked it with Navy. It was super easy to use. And I feel like sometimes the blankets that they have there for like swaddling, uh, sometimes they're really bulky and they don't really stay, <laughs> or maybe I'm just bad at swaddling. I don't know, but um, bringing this one just in case we want to use that. And then I am bringing two little outfits and mostly the reason I'm bringing two is solely for picture purposes. I know kind of how I want him set up for his like little name announcement um, photo, but um, I don't know, I'm, I gotta like see him in it first. So I have two choices. The first one is from Spearmint Baby or Spearmint Love. This is a newborn sized footed sleeper. It's got like little um, moons on it. And I think it's the cutest thing. Navy wore uh, just a plain white one on her way home from the hospital. So I love these. And then I got a matching little hat as well. So this might be what we use for his photos or what we take him home in. I'm not sure. Um, but then I also do have this just plain black one. This is from Little Sleepies. 
and you can have the feet um, you can have it be footed or not footed um, they fold over like that they also have the built-in mittens which I like so I have this plain black one because I think what I want to do for his name announcement is have him just in plain black and then I also have a plain black hat as well like a knotted cap um, and then I have this blanket that I'm going to be bringing that I might lay under him. Um, so I'm thinking that would be really cute, just having him in black with the black hat and then like the blanket under him. Anyway, two outfits, two little knotted caps. That's it for that. I am going to be bringing pacifiers um, with a pacifier clip. So I don't, uh, I would say sometimes I use a pacifier in the hospital. I've never dealt with nipple confusion, so that's not something that I'm like super worried about. But I do like to bring a pacifier just in case like I'm just desperate for some sleep. I had to use a pacifier with Navy in the hospital because she just like wouldn't stay asleep. So once I gave her the pacifier, then I finally was able to like rest a little bit. I know that the hospitals can kind of be a little against giving your baby a pacifier. so. Do what works best for you, but I've never experienced nipple confusion. And then I am also bringing the Nose Frida like snot sucker and a, the Oogie Bear nose pick. The reason for that is because they can get some like gunk stuck in their nose. And I don't really like the bulb like syringes that they use at the hospital. So I bring these just because a nurse is not always in there with you and it's better to be prepared than not especially after having Navy. She had lots of stuff stuck in her and she was choking and couldn't breathe for a hot minute. So that was really kind of traumatizing for me. So now I'm just being extra prepared. I had the Oogie Bear with her, but I didn't have the Snot Sucker. And I think that would have helped a lot, like if I had that. So bringing that this time. I also have hand sanitizer. It's actually almost out. I should probably fill this up. I've got like a big bottle downstairs, but bringing some hand sanitizer just I mean, they usually provide it. I think they usually keep it on the table. Like when you check in, there's usually a bottle of hand sanitizer and then like a, a big like water cup. But I just like to have this extra. I am bringing three newborn size diapers. You don't need diapers. Your hospital should provide diapers for you and wipes. And then you can also take them home after. So you get like a pack of newborn diapers while you're there use what you use and then take the rest home. That's definitely key. But I have three in there just because, I don't know, they're gonna be in there anyway. So I just decided to put them in there. And then uh, last but not least for his diaper bag is some nursing pads for me. So these could honestly be in mine, but like I said, this is gonna be his diaper bag. So I'm gonna have these in there anyway, but these are essential, especially like, your milk probably won't come in until day like two or three after birth, but mine typically does. I usually have an oversupply and a very heavy flow. So I bring these just in case because I know now that this is my fourth kiddo, I know how my milk is usually and I'm usually leaking before we leave the hospital. So I bring these and then I also am going to be running to Target after I film this video because I need to grab some nipple cream. I cannot find my lanolin nipple cream, but that is also going to be going in here as well. Definitely need the nipple cream, but that is it for um, what I'm bringing for him. Like I said, very minimal. The hospital should provide most of it. So yeah, that's it. Like obviously the car seat, it is July. So I'm not even bringing him like a car seat blanket or anything. I brought that, you know, with my other kids, well, with Weston and Navy, but Noah was born in July and then this baby is going to be in August. So I don't need a car seat blanket because it's like 95 degrees outside. So that's just one less thing that I have to worry about. One less thing I have to pack. I am also going to be bringing a boppy. This is so handy to have when you're breastfeeding. You can have it there and hold your baby. Even when you're not breastfeeding and you're just like holding your baby, it's so nice. It helps your arm tremendously. So definitely bringing my boppy. And then I'm also bringing a nice fuzzy blanket. This is what I'm talking about, having him lay on uh, for his name announcement picture. I did order another one because I don't know that I want the smiley faces. This is just my blanket. So I ordered like this checkered one that I'd rather use, but it's not here yet. So if I go into labor tomorrow and that blanket's not here yet, this one's coming with me. But if that one gets here by the time we go to the hospital, then we'll take that one instead of this one. But 
Either way, I will be taking one fuzzy blanket just because you want to be nice and cozy and like the hospital blankets are not <laughs> cozy at all. So bringing that as well. And then getting into my bag. So like I said, this is the Luli BB travel bag. It looks the exact same. It's just bigger. Um, this one is super nice. It's got the handles right here. And then it's got this big crossbody strap as well. Um, it's got a buttoned pouch in the back and then a front zipper one and then two side pockets as well. So lots of storage in this thing. It's really, really great. Once you open it, <laughs> this is what it looks like. I love these mesh pockets up here. Um, I only have a couple things in them. I've got a giant claw clip, thick haired girlies. You know what I'm talking about? You gotta have the extra large one. And then I've got a toothbrush in here um, that's like never been open. I feel like it's just easier for me to take one that I can just like toss and not have to worry about. I don't wanna take my, um, my vibrating toothbrush. So I just have this one for like the two nights that are probably gonna be there. That's it for that. And then inside of the bag, I have my Ugg slippers. I'm bringing these because like I said, I just wanna feel comfy and cozy and hospitals are not <laughs> comfy and cozy. So I love having um, slippers with me. I also have fuzzy socks in there. Like I said, I like to be comfy, I like to be cozy. Hospitals are usually pretty cold. Obviously, you know, with all the hormones going through your body after you give birth, you might not want to have fuzzy socks on. You might not want to have the fuzzy blanket on, but I typically do. So I bring these. I'm also going to be bringing one of these Skims bras. This is not a nursing bra, but it works just as well. I mean, it's got like the, the um, overlap right here that most nursing bras have, but this is so dang comfortable. It feels like you're literally not wearing anything. So I always have one of these on. Um, so I'm bringing one of these. I could bring um, one of the clip nursing bras, but I don't think I'm going to just because it's not like I'm gonna be wearing anything that I need like more support or coverage. Um, so this is just comfortable and after birth, you just wanna be comfortable. And then I'm bringing literally two changes of clothes and that's it. And honestly, this one is for me to sleep in. So this is just a Comfort Colors t-shirt, super cozy, and then a pair of like, just like jogger leggings. They are also super comfy. I have a couple different colors of these, but I'm going with black because postpartum bleeding, you never know what could happen. So I just like to stick with the black, but um, yeah, so that's probably for sleeping and lounging in. And then for on the way home or to hang out there in, I don't know. I have this Comfort Colors um, denim colored crew neck, just like something a little oversized, bigger, just comfy. I just wanna be comfy, you know? I don't need to look super cute. I just need to look comfy. So definitely have one of these in. That's probably gonna be what I wear going home. Even though it is 90 degrees outside, this is probably what I'm gonna wear. And then I just have a pair of these gray sweatpants, which honestly might be a bad decision. Like I said, postpartum bleeding can be risky, but I have these just in case I wanna wear them. If I don't, I also have those black ones that I can wear, so um, we'll see. But bringing these. I'm also gonna be bringing a book. This is the Unhoneymooners. I've heard really good things about this, but I love reading and usually like the day you're there, I'm usually only there for like a day and a half because um, I try to leave as soon as possible, but you have to stay at least 24 hours for the 24 hour check. So it's usually really boring um, to be honest <laughs> and you can't get much sleep. So bringing a book for something to do, I mean, I don't know. We'll see if I actually read it, but bringing that. And then I'm also going to be bringing AirPods. These are super handy to have, especially as like after you have your baby and like you have family calling you and stuff, but you might be trying to nurse or whatever. You want your hands free. Um, having AirPods is super helpful for just literally anything you could be doing on your phone. So bringing those. And then I'm also bringing a large, like a long um, iPhone charger for my phone. This is just an extra one that I have. I have it in there so I don't even need to worry about packing it. When the time comes, it's just already in there. 
And then I am going to be bringing a hair straightener in case I want to straighten my hair. I don't think I ever have in the hospital, so I probably won't. But just in case, I have that. And then I also have my hairbrush. And then last but not least is my handy dandy little toiletry box, if you will. Um, I just have some deodorant, some shampoo, and body wash, which this is stuff my husband will also be using. I also have <laughs> texturizing spray for if I straighten my hair. I did not go and buy this. I had this, I think, from when we went to Disneyland. So <laughs> I just threw this in there because I had it. We'll see if I use it. Um, and then conditioner. I also have lotion. This is body lotion, but I'll most likely just use it for my hands, but the hospitals are so dry. So having lotion is very nice. And then I also have face wash. I've got um, toothpaste, a little mini toothpaste thing. I've got a razor and um, I also have this Lawless Forget the Filler Overnight Lip Mask. Um, I just I always sleep with this on my lips, so bringing this because I know I will just feel so weird without it. Um, and then I also just have a bunch of extra hair ties at the bottom there as well. And then not in here, but I need to throw them in here after I film this video because I just remembered. Um, I also like to bring about three like adult diapers. I get the Depends ones um, just because like the pads that they give you like are great like don't get me wrong with the giant ice packs and stuff like that and the mesh underwear um they're super great but for going home like they can kind of be a bit much especially if like you aren't in a ton of pain like after i had weston there was no way i was gonna wear depends like i was absolutely wearing the mesh underwear like adult diapers um just because i tore really bad with my first but with like Noah and Navy, I wore Depends home because I didn't feel like I really needed like a bunch of stuff and they can kind of sag and just be like really awkward. Anyway, that is all that is going to be in my diaper bag. I also have a little list on my phone of things that I need to put in like one when we're leaving, which is my makeup, just in case I want to use it. Like I said, I may or may not, I don't really know, but I will be packing my makeup just in case. I'm also going to be packing shoes for the shower. I didn't buy any shower shoes just for the shower. I did with Navy because it was like winter time and I wasn't gonna be wearing like any sandals, but uh, when I go into labor, I'll either be wearing my like cloud shoes, like my cloud slip-ons, or my plastic Birkenstocks, and so I can just wear those in the shower, um, and they'll dry, and then I can wear them home. I'll be packing those, my makeup, and then I might bring my Stanley cup. It's actually like right behind me. I might bring that. I also really like the cup that they provide you in the hospital. There's something about ice water in that cup. It just makes it extra good. I don't know, so we'll see. I don't know if I'm gonna bring my Stanley or not, but I kinda don't want to because it's like one extra thing that I have to like remember, but um, I might. But I also just really like the water bottle or the, the yeah water bottles that they have there. So we'll see. All right, you guys, that is gonna be it for today's hospital bag video. That's everything I'm taking with me. If you guys enjoyed today's video and you found it helpful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up Subscribe if you aren't already and let me know down in the comments if there are things that you usually bring to the hospital with you that I don't have with me. Um, I know everyone brings something different um, and that's why these videos are so helpful. But for me, I just like to keep it very minimal because packing or unpacking is the last thing I want to do when I get home with a newborn baby. So yeah, and then don't forget, you can get 25% off store-wide at LuliBB using the link in my description box. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!